all guys and welcome in this new video tutorial. Uh, today, and as per the request of many of you and to help you to solve the issue of 100% RAM usage, this video will propose to you some solution which you can try. But before doing that, let's identify some of the issue which can or some of the sources of this problem. First of all, the issue for RAM usage can be related to one of these relation of these issues. The update of Windows system is happening in the same time when you are using your computer due to wrong settings of your computer. Sometimes you're working and the same time updates are, are happening. The second thing, you haven't set correctly the program which has to boot when Windows start. So basically you install a new program, you click next, 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 but you don't deselect start up the program when Windows turn on. And this may be uh, overloading your RAM. The third problem can be, the third thing is that it can be related to that you don't have enough RAM. You have two gig RAM or four gig RAM, and you, you, are, you are using heavy programs like Adobe After Effects and at the same time Adobe Photoshop. And this might cause a problem because there is no enough RAM, of course. The, the other thing is that running multiple heavy programs can also um, can also cause this issue, especially if you are running on low RAM uh, in pre-installed. For example, you have a computer which which has four giga, and you are running programs which has a requirement of a minimum of six gigabit. Some heavy programs for uh, graphic design or architecture. So this might cause also the problem. The last thing is that it might be due to your RAM itself. You have RAM frequency. Uh, low RAM frequency. For example, you have a RAM with 1.2 gigahertz, and this is very low frequency. The best would be like for running uh, programs which need f fast RAM, you might get 1.6 or 1.8. There is now two solution or two different type of solution. There is hardware solution and software solution or setting solution. The hardware solution, guys, I will suggest to you to upgrade from 2 or 4 giga RAM to to six, for example, uh, let's get a look on this. So if you have two or four gigabit RAM, I will suggest you to go straight either to eight giga, to eight gig, to eight gigabit or to 12 or even to 16. If your computer, if your computer is compatible with that, you can check online if your computer is compatible with upgrading the, the RAM. Also, uh, why you have to check compatibility before? Because your computer might might not support 16 or 8 or 8 gigabit RAM, and then it will be worthless because it wouldn't work. The second thing is that you get a, a faster RAM. So basically, you have you will buy, for example, 4 gigabit RAM, but for example, with a frequency of 1.9 or even uh, 2 gigahertz, and this will make the RAM faster and this will also help to improve in the usage of your computer and it might make your computer faster. Now we will go to the second part, but before going to the second part, please again remember that your comp you have always to check if your computer will be compatible with that because it might help that your computer, you get two gigahertz uh, frequency RAM and your computer is not compatible with it or your processor doesn't support it. Now we will go to the second part, which is the software part. Or the settings part so now we are going to do some settings to reduce the usage of the RAM so first of all if you are like me you like installing random programs then you have to be careful when you are installing because some of the programs give you the choice to run the program with Windows when it turn on so so now we will go and reduce the requirement of Windows restart or the requirement when turning on the computer so we'll just go to your to your task or to your bar and you click on the taskbar, task manager, you open it with the right button of the mouse. And here we will go to start up. And from the start up here, you will have the list of the programs which has to, to turn on or to start working in the background when you turn on Windows 10. So what we are going to do with, you click with the right button of the mouse and this choices will appear and you click disable. And you will have to disable all the programs which you don't need to have them running when Windows starts. Please be careful, do not disable your antivirus 
and do not disable Windows Firewall or your private firewall because it's a security issue and it's very important. I don't need also this program, I will just disable it. And do not do not turn off the, the HD audio manager because this is responsible of having sound working on your computer. So now that all has been set, we will just close this. The second thing which we are going to do, we will open from the search tab, we will open DXDIAG. Why we will open DXDIAG? It's very important to check if your uh, which um, which operating system you are using and which version. I'm using the 64-bit uh, system, so it should be fine. And also, as you can see, I have only 4 gig of RAM, but this computer is running quite good. And my processor uh, speed is 1.6, which is okay, quite acceptable. So now that we know the RAM, you can check if you want to update to upgrade this or not. You have 4 gig, you can upgrade to 8 or 16 or 12. However, and you can check from here how many giga you have in your run. Now to disable the services, we will go back and we'll type ms, which means Microsoft, and config, s-o-n-f-i-g. And we'll open the system configuration, we'll click on it. And from here, guys, you will have to select some of the boot option, but I wouldn't suggest that you touch this because this is only for people with advanced level in IT. But where we will go, we will go to the services. The services is the, the background application or the application which will be running the, in the background when your computer is on. For example, for me, for instance, I don't need Adobe Acrobat update service. I will just deselect it. And from here, you can look for all the services which you don't need to be running at the same time, and you can just disable them. But please be careful what you are disabling. Some of the services of Windows are very important, and you don't have to deselect them Otherwise, your computer might be uh, facing some issue. But for example, if from here, if you find some program which you have installed and you don't need the services, its services running in the background, you can just disable it. So for instance, we'll look for something. For example, TextMit Uploader Service. This is for my screen program recording. I don't need it to be running in the background when I'm turning on my computer. So. So we will just go ahead and you can also disable some programs or some services to not have them working on the background. So we'll just go ahead. I think that's all for me. And I don't have any additional, so I can just click apply. Okay, and I will leave this section. HP support solution framework, I don't need it and I don't need also this one, so I will just deselect them. So that's it. Do not deselect Bluetooth or Wi-Fi because your wireless might be not working. And you do that, as soon as you do that, you click just apply and you click OK. So for the, for instance, I will just cancel this. Also, please deselect normal startup and put it on selective startup. This is better. So I will just close this one after, you remember, you have to click apply and then to click OK. Now we will just restart our computer and the issue should be fine. And to check again if you have 100% RAM usage or not, or if your computer is slow and you want to check, you can just come to the taskbar, you click with the right button of the mouse, you click on Task Manager, you open it, and here you check CPU, memory, which means the RAM, and the disk. As you can see, I have only now 48, I have 69. Also, the last thing which we have to set is our updates. So we go to settings and we, re we, we set up our updates. So here, updates and security. Here, for example, guys, you have to be careful what you are doing and you will click uh, from Windows update, you will click on advanced options. And from here, you will just click notify to schedule or restart. Give me updates if you want to get, to get some updates and choose how updates are delivered. You will click on here and you will turn off this choice. When this is turned on, it means that your computer will be updating other, other computers which are in the same network with it. So you will just select this and you will be back.
And that's it. Also about the privacy settings, I will suggest you to disable geolocation if you don't want to use it and other services which you don't need, basically. Also, guys, be careful. Uh, some of the programs like real-time protection, cloud-based protection, automatic sample submission, they are important for, for Microsoft to protect you from viruses. But for example, for me, this computer is not getting connected much to internet, so I will just disable them. And if you have a good antivirus, you can also do the same and just disable these choices. If not, then just leave the minimum real-time protection working. I hope this video tutorial was useful to you guys. If you still need help or assistance, you can always contact us and we will be always there to help you. Also guys, before leaving and finishing this video, please also go to your privacy and go also to background application. And if you have any of these applications which are set on on, for example, like this, it shows this, the status on, you can always disable it and to not have it working if you will not use some of these services. Like for example, I don't play Xbox, I don't use the weather, I don't go to Windows Store, so I don't need all of this, so I have just disabled them. And this is giving me additional RAM space, virtual RAM space to use for my, for my program when I'm working. I hope this video was clear and it was, a, it was good for you. You can always click like, share and subscribe. And if you have any issue, you can always leave us a comment and we'll always reply to you. Thanks for watching and talk to you soon in a new video tutorial.